I'm excited. Phenomenal. Okay, we're gonna go Thank over you. this way. Um, there's a lot still to come. I know that I am not the only one in the building excited about our next item. Next up, Dreamer, Bonnie Tyler, with the perfect way to peel your boiled eggs. Mother, grandmother, and home cook Bonnie was making basically deviled eggs for a party, but she struggled to get the shell off the eggs like we all do. She invented the neg. Just add water and shake, and voila, you've got something phenomenal. I am so thrilled to meet you. And I'm thrilled to meet you. Um, this is fantastic. Can I just brag about you for just a second? This amazing lady, who is a proud grandma, has set forward on a journey. You, uh, you learned to use a 3D printer at the local library? We sure did. It was the only way to make this happen. And without the 3D printer, I don't think, honestly, we would have the neg today. And this was just a couple years ago? That's right. Yep. So did you enjoy this process or was it hard? Uh, it's been a learning curve of about vertical leap. Uh, starting with the 3D printer, we made our first prototype and took it, we'd race home from the library, check it out to see if it worked, and if it didn't work the way we wanted it to work, we went back to the library and printed another one. But uh, the 3D printer, for those that have never seen it, is absolutely amazing. Well, Bonnie, we are gonna get actually right over there right now if we can. I'd love to start this the best way we know how, which is to show you what the neg is all about. Bonnie, please, if you would, I, I, sure. I will follow your lead. <laughs> I need to ask you, what has the reaction been like in the outside world, because I can tell you within HSN, virtually all of us that work here have bought this phenomenal, phenomenal product. This has been, um, we didn't realize how phenomenal it was gonna be, I have to tell you. When we started out, we did a Kickstarter program which was not successful, right. but I am not somebody you say no to. So we went back and tried it again, and the next time it was successful. And so we had enough backing to be able to start with the production. And what, what was, the, I mean, what inspired you to say, you know what, I, I, I'm a busy grandma, but I'm gonna go out there and do something and create something. Is that a, an adventurous spirit you've always had? I think so, and I think the main thing is that I, I just have never given up on a project. I'm not gonna fail. I mean, if I'm gonna fail, it'll be big time, it'll be on the front page of the paper, you know, <laughs> it's sort of like. So tell us what you're doing right now. Well, right now I'm peeling a hard boiled egg, and this is how easy it is. What we've done is we've put convex, forms on the top and bottom, which help to knock the shell down. Right. And we have bumps on the inside, which go to the side of the egg. Okay. So what this is clear so that we can actually see inside the jar and we can see what the egg is doing. You can also feel it as you shake it. Right. So the egg in there with a little water, I've shaken it, and now it's ready to peel. Now you know if you love your hard boiled eggs like I do, and I have hard boiled eggs probably three out of the seven days per week, um, you know it's not like that. You that, know it doesn't just peel off like you, that. You have to see what's happening here, and I'm doing this slowly because I want to be sure that everybody <laughs> sees that this, this shell comes off almost in one piece where the membrane, which is the bad thing that we all try to get ourselves around, um, has hung on to the shell and it's released from the egg. So that's the theory behind it. And it's what they also do with uh, commercial peelers. If you watch those, you'll see that it's all a matter of shaking the eggs on a tray and hitting them with water. So that was where I kind of got the inspiration to make this happen. Well, Bonnie, we are off to a flying start. I'm gonna take you through the options right now. You get two, don't forget. Now out there, you can find the neg, but you'll spend about $20 for one. We're sending you two. So you'll choose two of the red, two of the white, two of the black, or two of the yellow. With everyone dialing in, fewer now than 1,300 left. Hard boiled eggs, deviled eggs. Is it for breakfast? Is it for lunch? Is it on the go? Is it at the office? Is it for something that, you know what? You, you, you are fed up of the mess, pulling out big chunks of the egg. It never looks as good when it's a struggle. With this, it's perfect every time, Bonnie. Okay, we'll do it again. Again, and I'm gonna want you to do it too. Okay, Let's we'll see, we check in here, to. and I can see this is coming apart nicely, so this is, Fewer shakes than the other one. And that again, look at this come oh, right come out. Seriously, but you're not even trying, Bonnie. That's no. unbelievable. No, that's that's amazing. That's the amazing part. 
So it was about, uh, 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 was it a party where you were doing deviled eggs and that was I it? Had, uh, yeah, this is, I, uh, a friend of mine invited me for dinner and I thought, well, I'll bring the deviled eggs because it's so bloody easy. Right. Why not? Everybody can do that. Well, when I got into it, I couldn't get the eggs to peel and in my usual fashion, I was late in starting the project. So <laughs> that, uh, it was so annoying. I think I took a bag of potato chips that had already been opened, but nobody seemed to notice. <laughs> so the next morning, I got online and, and looked at the commercial printers because I was just going to order one of these. I had no intention of making these for everybody in, the, you know, the masses. So it was... Uh, well, you came up with a good thing, so why not? We I mean, did. It was when I started, uh, we had the prototypes from the 3D printers and we started handing those to friends and family and uh, everybody would say, I, I want this, yeah, you yeah. know. So it was, after a while we began to think, maybe you should have this. <laughs> it, it, it is the simple things in life, that's the, that's the joy. If you want the yellow, that's gonna be the first to sell out, I'm being told. The black is selling like crazy, the red is magnificent, and also your two pack of the white. Just to reiterate, this is what you have seen on Facebook. This is what you've seen out there in a lot of the magazines and media. Bonnie's been on local TV as well, uh, because there's a lot of attention on this. I mean, here is Bonnie, an amazing lady who has set forward on this mission to go, okay, I can, I can do something, I can do it better, and solve an issue that we can all relate to. Well, that was it. I've done a lot of talking. I mean, I'm a fascinating dinner partner because I do nothing but talk about hard-boiled eggs. I'm afraid it's <laughs> rather It's a drastic, fascinating subject. It is for me, but maybe not for anybody else. <laughs> but it's, uh, yes, and what, where we have come with this and what we have learned about injection molding and manufacturers and keeping it all in the U.S., I really felt very strongly that we didn't want to take it out of the country. And standing in the uh, fulfillment center and watching the conveyor belt with all the eggs and all the boxes and all, it must the, have been was, amazing. and all the people that are standing there and employed, it was really. Well, guys, they are letting us know we're saying five minutes or sell out, which I've, I, I can't see how many people are on the phone, Alison, because that moment. Oh, brother! Okay, Bonnie, um, this is, this is uh, uh, obviously, as you can see, our quantity counter, it's flying. So if you want one, we'd love to send you a set. It is a two-pack. I do need to keep reiterating that because typically the neg is about $20 for one. Bonnie and her team have agreed with HSN to, because it's American Dreams, to go all out. We want to get Bonnie's invention into homes in America. So you get to use it and try it and you get to tell friends and family members about it as well. If you like boiled eggs like I do, if you eat boiled eggs like we do, then you got to have an egg. And Bonnie, ultimately, it's just a one-time purchase, isn't it? Once you've got one, you've got it, one. That's it. That, that really is it. And it's, uh, and you won't peel an egg any other way. Once no. you get your hands on this, I'm telling you, I've tried it and it's the most frustrating thing in the world is to go back to the old-fashioned way of peeling an egg. Once you so, go here, you never no, go back. No, exactly. How much water are you putting in? Take us through. So when I receive my neg, I, I, I open the lid basically, correct? Right. Then what? And then you put enough water just over the bottom lid here. So, okay, so it's not a lot of water. No, it's not a lot of water. Okay, so that goes in like that. And all that does is it cushions it a bit so that it doesn't fly apart. If you don't put the water in, the egg is going to break up. Okay, so then the egg goes snap in. Snap on that. And that just snaps click, on. It should click down. Right. And we did the click on the thumb. Uh, the way this works is it's not a screw on top. It actually snaps down. You can hear it uh, when it's There's ready to go. There's a firm click. Yeah. So now what do I do? Now you just shake. I just shake it. Make sure it hits that top and bottom. And then after the, about that time, I take a look in through the window and see what's going on. It's You're starting. Not, not quite done. I mean, what a clever idea. Ultimately, you know, you look at this Taking and say, there you go, a bit more. In fact, Bonnie, Maybe. they're telling me it's so, with everybody on the phone line. If you, which was left, Allison? Okay, guys, here's what we have left. If you want the red, we have 75 remaining. If you want the white, now fewer than 200. If you want the black, 100. And if you want the yellow, there's two dozen. Bonnie, this is a thousand. Oh, you're of, kidding. This is That's a amazing. <laughs> what, That's amazing. What did people say to you then when you started to do this? Were people skeptical that you could even get it done? Oh, uh, nobody could believe it because I had never been in any sort of engineering degree or anything <laughs> like that. And But I've learned every step of the way. It's been a new learning experience. And even when we've been told, no, those are learning experiences as well. So you take from those and, and make it work. The 
uh, the manufacturers that first saw this said we couldn't do it because of the bumps on the inside. Show of the me the cylinder. bumps. Show me what you mean about the bumps. Well, they're egg-shaped bumps on the inside. I see. Okay, right, right. there. And that's difficult and to achieve? Th that was what, with the 3D printer it was easy. With injection molding, what happens with injection molds is you put two pieces of metal together, you fill the void. Now if you've got bumps there, you can't pull the steel apart. Right. So you can't get the, mold, the actual item out. So with our manufacturer that we finally went with, uh, after looking for many months, figured that if we put two bottoms on here and these come off, that what we can do is go into the middle of the neg here and pull out from the highest point of those bumps so that that was the only way they could do it. But there were a lot of people that said, there's no way, forget it, it's gonna be so expensive that you couldn't possibly manufacture it. So we just kept talking to people. So you just, and, and, but, but Bonnie, seriously, two years is not a long lead time to be from this idea in your mind to be stood here on HSN. I, mean, I don't know when you're my age, two years is quite a bit of time. <laughs> Come on, you're as young as anything. <laughs> Guys, we just sold out of the white completely, so I'll remove that from the set. That's amazing. Next is gonna be the yellow. Uh, you know, I think it's important, that one's stuck down. I think it's important that we support, you know, uh, homegrown as it were. And Bonnie, as you said, you wanted to keep it right here in the United States of America. But that must have been even higher harder though to again find the right recipe yes exactly in and fact guys they are saying which was the next one to go Allison I bet the red it's the yellow then red you and what's your best seller normally red red is normally the best seller that's usually the one and it surprised us do one more demonstration for us okay, please well, my darling we should get yours out of here oh yeah my gosh I forgot all about that it's almost done so it's just the water <laughs> that you're adding and then simply you, look it but peels see, off it peels off it comes right off again there's no, no more chunks coming out of it. There's no, no more mess. Perfectly smooth. That's the way you want your hard-boiled eggs to be. And obviously, eggs are a, a wonderful source of nutrition. Well, they've gone from being this maligned thing to all of a sudden they're uh, magic. I it's mean, everybody food. wants them. It's a superfood yeah. of all times, I think. And I'm out of water here, so that's okay. not going to work. One last one. Oh, there's more water there, Tell. Oh, me. there we, we go. go. Here we go. More, more water. So we add a little bit, not a lot. And obviously nope. easy to clean and everything. It's, just, it's you know, very easy. Jeez Louise. Yeah. Okay. You want to try it again? Yeah. My darling, I think we're going to be calling it sold out. <laughs> Do it one last time for us. They're giving me updates as we're talking. It's like a mayhem in our control room right now. With $29.95 free shipping for FlexPay. Which entry on, Allison? You want to get rid of this one? Our producer's giving me guidance as we're talking. You're moving too fast, Bonnie. You I see am? you're selling it out too fast. That's why. I no, can it's do a good it thing. It's, no, no, it's a good thing. <laughs> like you blink and you miss this. That's what's so brilliant about it. Bonnie, what would so, you say to anybody out there who is looking at you and saying, oh my gosh, I have an idea in my mind. I wish, I, I wish I'd pursue it. I, I'm scared to do it. What would you say to them? Uh, fasten your seatbelt because it won't be an easy ride. But it's a fun one. It really is. And you can put put uh, put deviled eggs back on the menu. How about that? Bonnie, you just sold out. Congratulations. That's fantastic. Mom. You are that now is really officially fantastic. a Monday night. <laughs> Give me Unbelievable. A Congratulations. Unbelievable. I'm so thrilled for you, my darling. You guys are terrific. This is for you. This is for you. Oh, that's so fun. You are a perfect example of dreams coming true. Great. Bonnie, everybody.